Good evening, my YouTubers. This is Dana Drepsky here for this new updated video for December 6, 2021. And I see we're almost near the holidays. Yep, with the holiday rush, with buying presents for somebody, isn't it's the time for it's time for to be giving. It isn't forgetting. Yep. Sorry, I I haven't done it last week because I everything's so hectic. But now. I'm back in business, and let's start, let's move on with one of the tapes I got this week from the thrift store or from from the flea market. And some stuff I just got sometimes like, like a few months ago or something. Let's start with one of the VHS tapes I got it from the flea, from, from the flea market. The 1988 uh, hilarious spooky comedy of Beetlejuice, directed by Tim Burton, stars with Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin, Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice, Jeffrey Jones, and Kathleen O'Hara. All, all also co-stars with Sylvia Sidney. I can't remember the actress name, the one who plays uh, Odoff, the, the, the fat guy, yeah. Beetlejuice is really a funniest horror movie ever made since Ghostbusters. And it's an unranchable ghost comedy. There hasn't been anything like since Ghostbusters by Kevin Thomas, Los Angeles Times. And this is the late 1988 VHS release of Warner Home Video. And I just kept this tape out. The copy of Beetlejuice I have here. This is not the original. This is a this is a reprint. And this one had no preview of the Beetlejuice soundtrack album promo from Gaffin Records. And it didn't have the Warner Brothers store catalog with the Looney Tunes characters. That was exact release when they had that for the Police Academy 5 assignment in Miami Beach. This copy go this copy starts with the FBI warning screen goes right into the movie. And I doubt it to have a test pattern on it. This is gonna be on eBay. And he, and here's another tape that I didn't have any previews. The 1996 release of Casino on VHS. From MCA Universal Home Video, Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, and Joe Pesci, directed by Martin Scorsese. This movie had James Woods, Don Rickles, Alan King, and this is, comes with the uh, and it comes with the two tapes. And it says one of the year's best films by Roger Ebert, uh, Roger Ebert, Siegbert in 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 Ebert. Yep. And this is in the full screen release, and uh, that was like a few years before they have it on DVD. I checked out uh, tape one of, of Casino has no previews on it, like Dark Man Three, the Casino soundtrack album promo, and and Universal Studios Florida promo. There's copy of Casino. Now let me see. I'm looking for a print date. Here's the here's tape two. Printed it on the 32nd week of 1996. Hold on. I got some more tapes. I got it from the flea market or from the thrift store. One of the funniest scalp movies of all times, Caddyshack. Chevy Chase. Ronnie Dangerfield, Ted Knight, Michael O'Neill, and Bill Murray, and Brian Domery co-stars in it. Na 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 na. This is the late 1983 reissue of Caddyshack, also directed by Harold Ramis. Teed off with the with the with the four with the four screens funniest clowns. And also in 1988 there was Caddyshack 2. It's not that great compared to the original Caddyshack. And this tape of the original release of this movie came out on VHS. It was back in 1980 from WCI Home Video in those big boxes. Then it was reissued again in 1982. And this is the 1983. Then it was reissued again in 1986. And all I know, the 20th anniversary of it was in 2000. The first time ever on DVD. Late 1983, first reissue. I'll be keeping that. Now, here's one of the best uh, boxing movies of all times, the original Rocky, from 1976. 
Today was only marked the 45th anniversary of the original Rocky, with Sylvester Stallone, Tina Shania from the Godfather movies, Burt Young from Once Upon a Time in America, Carl Williams, the one from Action Jackson, and Mickey, the the manage, trainer or manager, was played by Burgess Meredith, the one from the Twilight Zone episodes. This is the 1984 reissue, and uh, I'll show you what this tape looks like. Has no print date, has the barcode, the, and you know I have this copy of, you, and you know I have Rocky on VHS. When the tape master was from 1983, but the CBS Fox video typing logo, then it has the 1979 warning screen at the end of the copy. It was originally copied from the 20th Century Fox video release. I'm trying to get that copy of the first Rocky. Here's Rocky IV in 1985 without Burgess Meredith. Early 1986 release from CBS Fox Video. Also stars with Sylvester Stallone, Tanya Shania, Burt Young, and Carl Williams. And Mr. T was in the third one. That was when Burgess Meredith died. I used to have Rocky IV on VHS when I lived in New York. Boy, it was the good old days. Now, here's one of the um, Goldmine VHS I just found. Andy Hardy's Private Secretary, starring Mickey Rooney and Kathleen Grayson. A top-notch entertainment in NGM Honey by Los Angeles Examiner. This film co-stars with Faye Holden, Anne Winifred, and Ian Hunter. And you know, this is the earliest films that Kathleen Grayson did. Around that time, she was with Abbott and Costello in Rear Rear in 1942 for NGM. Kathleen Grayson was best in her other films she did for NGM in, during the 1940s, like uh, Anchors Away, Showboat, and Kiss Me Kate. She has a good operatic voice. And you know, in the any Hardy films had Judy Garland in, in, one, in, one, in one of his films, but however... This one doesn't have no Judy Garland in it. This is released on VHS in 1990 from NGM UA Home Video. The Andy Hardy films were so popular. This just like around the time when Judy Garland and Mickey Rooney did Let's Put on the Show series. Had no print date on it on this copy, yep. Mickey Rooney was success in the 1939's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. That was stars with Rick Siegman. Here's other four tapes I got it from the flea market. There's My Stepmother's an Alien with Dan Aykroyd and Ken Basinger. RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video Release. It's not a great movie, but I used to have this on VHS. And this is the 1989 original sticker label. This tape was printed it on the 29th week of 1992. I wanted this copy. It has, can you remember every movie was ever made promo? But however, this got to be recorded run on the EP. That is it, uh, the EP format. I'll be selling this. Now I got here a musical Shrava Dancer of the NGM musical of High Society with Bing Crosby, Grace Kelly, and Frank Sinatra. This is the remake of the 1940 classic of The Philadelphia Story with Kathleen, with Kathleen Hepburn, Cary Grant, and Jimmy Stewart. This is directed by Charles Walters. That has the one who directed Easter Parade. This is the 1988 reissue. Originally, it came out CBS NGM Home Video in 19 in the early 80s, then 1983, 1985, and 1986 in the Great Mu Musicals, Great Musicals collection. Show you what this tape looks like. This is a little reprint from the from the early 1990s. Uh oh, the wrong tape would anchor us away. You believe that? April Fools. How you like them apples? Now I got here a musical 
an operatic musical that had Nelson Eddy and Racer Stevens and the Chocolate Soldier. Sadly to say, no Jeanette McDonald in the film. This is at the time when Jeanette McDonald was making a movie with her husband Gene Raymond in Smiling Through for NGM in 1941. The most effective piece of acting Nelson Eddy ever committed to films by, by Claire Perrin's horn by the Hollywood musical. Early 1989 release, co-stars with Nigel Bruce from the Sherlock Holmes films. Yep, this is part of the six of the, the McDonald and Eddie movies releases from NGM UA Home Video. This, this tape is a reprint in the early 90s, and it has a Warner Home Video uh, U, UPC code on there. I have the Chocolate Soldier on VHS that has a print date and a death, death tone at the end. Sadly to say, has no Jeanette McDonald in this film. Now I got here a stand-up comic of Bill Cosby himself. It's not that great as compared to Richard Pryor. Yep. Made in 1982, and it's on VHS from 1985 from CBS Fox Video. At least this one he doesn't talk dirty. Show you what the tape looks like? Mm-hmm. This is a maybe a 1987 reprint. And that had microvision that has the barcode on there. I don't need this tape. I got here 1985 Sylvester, the horse movie that stars with Richard Farnsworth, Melissa Gilbert. And this is uh, the bootleg box copy of it from 1985 in RCA Columbia Pictures home video release. And I don't need this, and I'll check. Uh, there's a sticker label what, what it looks like, mostly from the video store. This is an ex-rental, and this tape was printed it on the 30, 30th week of 1985. Now I got here another one I'll be selling on EV. Broadway Melody, a Cameo Award winning Best Picture 1929, the early days of the talkies. Out of the silent era. I wonder if the Broadway Melody of 1929 had, like, Laurel and Hardy in it. But I know it had, like, with Cliff Edwards sings them Singing in the Rain. That was way before Gene Kelly did the film version of it in 1952. And this is on VHS 1989 from NGM Way Home Video. And I'll show you what, this is the next Hollywood video, uh, rental tape, mm-hmm. This tape was got to be made in the late 90s or something. I can tell about these prints. I don't need the copy, but... I'm going to sell it right on eBay. Here's something I'll be uh, the keeping for myself. Here's a goldmine VHS of the Jane Spons for, uh, for Your Eyes Only. That's for Roger Moore. It was made in 1981. I think I have this exact copy of it in Betamax. 20th Century Fox Video. Yeah. I like the ones better with Sean Connery that he did in the 1960s. The original James Bonds. Not the Roger Moore ones. Here's what the label looks like from 20th Century Fox Video. That was after it was changed from the Magnetic Video Corporation. And here's Fast Times at, at, at Ridgemore High that has the young Sean Penn and has George Reinhold from Better Be Hills Cop Movies and Ray Wilson, the one from Damn Yankees. Fast Time, the New York, well, it says like New York Magazine calls it exclusive uh, debut. Originally, this movie came out on VHS, was around 1982 or 1983 from MCA Video Cassette Inc. or something. And this is the 1987 reissue from MCA Home Video. Sticker label from 87. Has MCA Universal Home Video background. This tape was printed it on 
the ninth week of 1991, and this is the home video version. Some music recorded for the home video version. Escape from Alcatraz stars with Clint Eastwood, made in 1979. This is from Paramount Golf Western Company, Paramount Home Video. Originally came out in the early 80s. However, this is the reissued in 1983. Orange tag is missing. Yep. This tape was printed it on the 47th week of 1984. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. And here's the uh, Reckless. Reckless stars with... Adrian Kareen, Daryl Hanesh, Kenneth McGrin, um, Kenneth Mc, McLennan, uh, Cliff D. Young, and Dan Hyena. This is an NGM UA home video released in 1984. And Jennifer Grey had a small part one from Dirty Dancing. This is an ex rental tape. Mm -hmm. This tape was printed it on June 2nd, 1985, and is a blue sticker label print date. He learns to love, she learns to live. And here's the uh, the iron uh, tag tagno. That stars with that stars with Bo Bridges, Lloyd Bridges' son, oldest son. And this is released on VHS from Live in, uh, International Video Entertainment around 1989. So this is an ex-rental tape. Mm -hmm. It has some previews on there. No print date on it. Mm -hmm. This is an ex-rental. Here's the a queen is a crown it. Uh, an only full length recorded for the con the connection the the connection of H M Queen Elizabeth, narrated by Sir Lawrence Rivier, the one who did the one who did Rebecca Wuthering Heights and Hamlet, Sir Lawrence Rivier, 1987 VHS release. It was made in 1953. Uh, Hold on. May 1953. Yep. This is from International Historian Films Incorporated Home Video in 1987. You know Lawrence Rivier was as a He-Man actor in the 1940s, 30s, and 40s, and he does a great Shakespeare. And here's the next one called The Best of Bonanza Volume 2. Has with with Laurie Green, Dan Blocker, and special, special guest stars James Corbin, DeForest Kelly, and Pernell Roberts. Has two episodes like The, the Dark Gate and An Honor of Kosick. 1987 release from... Um, from Republic Home Video, the show was in 1967, from from NBC Network, and it was filmed it from Paramount. Show you what this tape looks like. Mm -hmm. This is like the certificate for the the Republic Home Video catalog. And here's a couple of these two. I got two final VHS tapes, like the Tubes video. Yep, they were they were so popular in the 1980s. This is on VHS in 1984 from uh, from Thorn from EMI Music Video, distributed by Thorn EMI Video. Look at the look at the Tubes group. Yep, 
It's only a 53-minute tape, and it has a promo of one of already released titles from Thorny and I, like The First Blood, Francis Former with Jessica Lange, Bad Boys with Sean Penn, Tender Mercies, The Lord of the Rings, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. I mean, this concert was from Capitol Records, 1989, 81. And this tape was printed it on the 26th week of 1984. And this tape is actually uh, hard to find. And here's the last one. Here's the Tubes, live in Berlin, Germany in 1980. This tape is probably, it's a bootleg. They got some good songs in there for 90 minutes. This is uh, someone recorded off the VHS blank. Yeah. Tubes, Berlin, Germany, 1980, 90 minutes. Well, the show's not over yet. We got some plenty of more. And here's something I'll be selling on, e on eBay. An unopened of Disney's Pinocchio on on DVD, and it's a bootleg version. Originally, this cover was illustrated in 1999 or 2000, the early days of the of the Disney Gold the Gold Collection DVD releases. And this copy of Pinocchio has not that many bonuses as compared to the 2009 uh, the release. I didn't actually open it, but I'll be selling it right on eBay for the very near future. And here's something I'll be keeping on DVD. The Planet, Ad uh, a Planet Edition of Disney Cinderella, made in 1950. And this is the 2005 release of Cinderella. Has all the good bonuses. This is just like when Snow White first came out on DVD in, back in 2001. During uh, like the September 11 attack era at that time. This disc... I mean, the Cinderella DVD came out in 2005. Same time was on VHS when it was when VHSs were fading. And here's the 2010's Yogi Bear, starring the voice of Dan Aykroyd, Yogi, and Justin Timberley as the voice of Boo Boo. Well, this is just a compared to the Yogi Bear cartoons in the 1960s by Hanna Barbera. And did you know the original voice of Yogi Bear played by the voice of Doris Butler? And Don Mystic does Boo Boo and Ranger Smith. I'll show you what this DVD looks like. God, I, I love Yogi Bear. The ones made by Hanna Barbera. Warner Bros. released it in 2010. Now I got here like a horror movie. Tanya Shy in the lady, uh, the landlady. An evil doesn't knock. It it has the key. It was released on DVD from Ten Twin Mark Home Video. In uh, it's gotta be around. It's gotta be around the two thousands. It was going to be made in the early 90s, and this is on DVD, going to be 2008 or something. Yep. Show you what this DVD looks like. There's my reflection. Yep. Now I got here a hard to find children's book of The Care Bears, A Trouble with Timothy. That was released by the Parker Brothers in, uh... 1983. I showed you some other Care Bears books from my one of my previous videos. I did last year in 2020 during the pandemic. And the trouble with Timothy, it's got to be take adapted to the Golden Book version when it's on VHS in 1985. God, I, I love the Care Bears. Care Bears are so popular in the 1980s. I even have the Battle of the Freeze Machine and the Lamb Without Feelings uh, in, in these Parker Brothers book series adapted from the specials. And then here I got something from the... I got something from my mom that she got it for me from the... Uh, from, from Walmart or I think it's 
family uh from Family Dollar. She got me a rainbow c c cover. I'll be using that when I have to uh, bundle myself up for like the winter. Lately outside, it's been so kind of warm. And today was a warmer day, like in the upper 50s or something, or the, or the mid 50s. You see the rainbow on the cover? Uh, it looks pretty unique. And here's something I got like from nearly seven weeks ago when I was in the play to see like a like a mystery show to find out who murdered someone. And here's the thing that I won from the uh, from like the suspect thing. Yep, that was in like the neighborhood theater. I went to see that play. And here's the mask. I can keep it like a silver there. And here's something I got. I think I got this like a few weeks before Halloween. I've been holding on for it. Here's an M&M's cup. Yep, I can use it for like a hot coffee. Or maybe like a hot chocolate. And before we close this video, here's the last one I have. I got it from eBay last week in the mail. I'm going to open this damn thing. And here it is. I paid like twenty something dollars for it. It's called it is called the VHS Standees of the Hooray for Hollywood series from NGM UA Home Video. These are the exact Marx Brothers movies were kindly available. Like the previous titles were Day at the Races, At the Circus, Night at the Opera, and Go West. Then it comes with the first time on home video was the big store happens to be the last final Marx Brothers movie ever. And this standee promotion was 1988. Each of those uh, NGM Hooray for Hollywood classics came were about 1995 each. And here's on the other side. Spencer Tracy Collection has Adam's Rib. First time on video with Father the, Father the Bride. Had black and white and colorized combo. And the brand new thing for home video was Guy Named Joe, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo with Van Johnson co-starred, and The Woman of the Year, there was a reissue. And now, finally, here's on the other side on this thing, like the collections of Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy films, that included like the reissue of Naughty Marietta, that was originally came out in 1984, then 1987, then Rosemary came out in 1985, Maytime came out in 1985, and new to home video was New Moon in 1988 release. This is the thing for the Night at the Opera, and this is the Hooray for Hollywood. The uh, Spine. This is pretty good, and I paid a lot of good money on that. So, I hope you enjoyed this new updated video for December 6, 2021. We'll see you again next time when I have more update videos. Until then... I wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Goodbye, folks, and try to subscribe if you like the video or not. Goodbye, folks, and Happy New Year, and Merry Christmas. See you around.